Virgo, hi. So this is going to be a reading for February 5th through the 11th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings. So they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. <clears throat> Let's see, Virgo. <clears throat> the overall energy for the reading, the Ten of Swords. That's giving me a sense of defeat. I'm not... Um, there's an overwhelming energy of, um, of a loss that shows up at some point. But I kind of feel like it shows up... Like, not that it's happening right now, this loss, but, like, it's something that happened in the past. It's just kind of taking you over for some reason. I don't know why. It's one of those that comes out of nowhere, too. Like, oh my god, why am I feeling this right now, you know? So you know what it's about. It's not like it's coming and surprising you here, this energy, but it's here. Um, in the recent past, the Empress, the Nine of Wands, the Ten of Cups. Okay, so there's someone important here, by the looks of it, important to you. There's a little bit of rejection there at times. There's a little bit of, oh, let me open up to this fully at times, you know. The ins and outs, quite <clears throat> okay. I would say normal in the way they're showing up, you know. There's not too much of, too much rejection or too much openness towards this um, in the sense of, becoming unhealthy necessarily anyways in the current situation the um, queen of swords the four of pentacles the nine of cups you're very determined to keep yourself happy you are happy about something something is making you happy here i'm not sure what because you're not telling me you're just saying this energy right here this one is good for me this one works for me it makes me happy i'm really determined to not let it go ever because it makes me feel so good okay Cool. In the immediate future, the Page of Cups. Oh, maybe that's why. The Moon and the uh, Five of Pentacles. Um, <clears throat> it looks like your heart is starting to open up, slowly but surely. And there could be an energy of loss in there that hasn't been necessarily healed too much. An energy from the past. A loss over something or someone that's just coming through the, the minute you start opening your heart uh which usually is a good thing but it does come with things like these so i'm not surprised that this is here um <clears throat> for some reason you're heading in the direction of just chilling for a little bit just being with yourself where it feels like your heart is starting to open up more and more but it does hide somewhere in there some energy of loss of pain um of losing someone um which usually happens in these kinds of processes where something that hasn't been healed uh properly it's it's gonna show up it's gonna reveal itself when we decide to okay i'm gonna open up my heart now you know so okay <clears throat> Let's see the Ten of Swords. Let's clarify. The, pa uh? the Page of Pentacles, the Devil, the Fool. Yeah, definitely coming through as it's something that you may have looked at in the past. And even from the perspective of, I've healed it, I'm good, I've cried my tears, I've done this, I've done that around this, so I think it's healed, I think I'm good. We're good, right? Yeah, okay, we're good. No. <laughs> we're not good. Because it's going to catch up with you. It's, it's definitely... I mean... It's your pain. It's your loss. It's an energy that's yours. Whether you decide to treat it in this way of... We're good here. Healed. We're good. We got this. Yeah. We healed this. Or being honest about it and letting it break you down basically you know um <clears throat> it's still gonna it, it's gonna come with you because it wants healing 
you know? It's an energy that you carry through and through and through and no matter how much you shove it down there so that nobody can find it ever, ever again, when your heart wants to open up, and most of the times it's gonna wanna, because, you know, that's life. We're humans. That's, that's the point. Um, that pain is gonna come to the surface too, because it is attached to the heart. You know, because beyond that pain, there is love. There's your heart right there. So they're kind of connected there your heart to this energy of loss that you know you you took in the moment as okay i'm healing we're good okay let me do the empress in the recent past the king of wands the king of cups the six of cups this is someone that looks really good here energetically passion love soul connection everything looks great here you are attached to whoever this is you're presenting them to me in a good light. I don't know now, but right there, you're like, yeah, they had it going on, you know, in your perception. Let's do the Nine of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, the Page of Swords. This hasn't always been an equal give and take kind of a situation. And I'm not sure why, in the sense of... <clears throat> Who is this that's pulling back? I kind of get the sense that it's you, but it could be them. Or it could even be the both of you that are not fully open to this, to create that energy of equal give and take, you know? Um, the energies are definitely available for that, but one of you is showing up as a little bit resistant to it and it kind of falls on you, but could also be them. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? Well, now it makes sense. Uh, yeah, it is you. <laughs> uh, for the Ten of Cups, you get the Ten of Pentacles, the Moon, the Five of Pentacles. That's the energy of loss. And guess what? If you haven't dealt with this loss that's kind of in the way of you opening up 100% from your heart, then of course you wouldn't show up 100% in a situation that involves your heart. Duh. Okay. So that's why this energy is coming through strong. It's like, do you just choose to live life that way, like halfway, or... Do you want to be available in your life for any kind of situation that involves your heart a hundred percent because you're not able to because of this massive energy of pain that's been accumulated through loss and i'm not even sure if it's tied up to one particular loss i feel like it's the overall energy of loss throughout your life whoever whatever you know was lost along the way <clears throat> I feel like you don't, you really don't like this energy. <laughs> like, who the fuck does? Um, nobody likes this, the energy of loss, right? Um, but like, you really don't like it to the extent of maybe you're dealing with a whole lot of other things through your healing, right? Fear of this, fear of that. Um, insecurities, all sorts of things, you know, throughout this journey of healing of yours. But when it comes to loss, looking at the things and situations and people that have been lost, I feel like that's your least favorite, you know, in the notebook of healing there. And it shows, and it affects all sorts of relationships you have going on in your life. <clears throat> Let me do the Queen of Swords in the current situation, you get the Seven of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, the Knight of Cups. You're very determined to do the work, you know, but you're coming at this from a place of your mind. The determination is coming from a place of, oh, okay, I know what's up. I understand what's going on. Okay, let me go fix it. You need your heart in order to do that because it is a matter of the heart. It is a matter of loss, of using your heart to the fullest to experience that, you know, um, to experience those emotions. So it's, I kind of dig this because you're starting from identifying the issue. 
you know, in it, from a very practical angle there, um, you're making sense of it. It's like, okay, and this is what's going on. All right, let's get to it. And then somehow you flip it around towards your heart. You're like, okay, I'm going to need my heart. Mm, wait a minute. Heart, come on. You're kind of like, oh, how? Most people um, identify situations like these, but they're not that eager and that um, <clears throat> pretty sharp in getting in touch with their heart like that, you know, like calling out their heart and being like, okay, we're going to work with the heart now. Yay. Because you are, you are doing it. It's not, it's not that you're just saying it. You're actually working on it, on opening up your heart to see what's in there. Um, <clears throat> that part, I don't know if you're doing it consciously. I don't think so. Um, where you have access to your heart just like that. But I do see a sense of acknowledgement over the fact that there is an issue tied up to the um, process of opening up your heart. Um, for the four of pentacles, you get the nine of pentacles, the five of swords, the queen of wands. I, you're also starting to realize how deceptive it is to um, keep a practical nuance to emotional stuff. Like, let's say you're dealing with a um, romantic partner, right? How are you dealing with that if you're only going to be very logical about everything? You know, where's the love at? Where's the emotions at? And I know there's a balance for everything. And I, I'm sure you'll find your balance through that when dealing with that kind of a situation. But a lot of the times you have the tendency to stay in the practical too much. And, you know, it's it's understandable. You're an earth sign. You got to keep your feet on the ground and such, you know. But at the same time, it's... You need that balance between the feeling of it too. You know, because otherwise it's like boring. It's just everything is logical. Are you happy? Yeah. Yeah, I can see it. You can definitely feel it. Not. What makes you happy? Oh, my mind tells me that. Oh, I'm happy. No, I know you feel it sometimes. I know you have access to your heart. We're not talking about, oh my God, you're shut down emotionally completely. So you definitely have it. It's a matter of opening it more and more so that you show up fully in relationships that are important to you and close to you. You know, and sometimes some situations require us to show up like that, you know, from an open heart space. Um, <clears throat> and whatever the hell is going on here is kind of challenging you to open up your heart. And that's where this pain is found, apparently. For the Nine of Cups, you get the Empress, the Two of Pentacles, the Tower. It almost feels like you're keeping it undercover a little bit. You know, like whoever this is to you, whoever this empress is to you, because they're someone important for sure. Either a spouse or if not, they sure feel like one, but definitely the closest person to your heart. And it feels like you do have that sense of heart openness when it comes to them, but you're not sharing it with anybody, including with them. You know, like you're feeling what you're feeling and you're feeling it deep, but it's like, it's not showing. You're not bringing it out. It almost feels like you kind of want to at this point, like you want to burst in this energy of love that you're feeling towards whoever this is. But it's, be you kept yourself in this place of feet on the ground for a little too long here that it almost feels like you forgot to feel, which is not true. You're, you're still doing it. Um... But you may feel sometimes that way that I'm like, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. Because you got so used to not feeling it that it became natural to not feel it. Even though you feel it. But you're not allowing yourself to. So you're definitely working around your heart at this point in time by the looks of it. What do you want? What? Can I help you? Ooh, I fucking adore that little nose of yours. Let me do the page of cups in the immediate future. You get the Hierophant, the Two of Wands, the Eight of Swords. You're going on a healing journey. I don't know if you're aware of this. Because uh, I, I, 
I don't see you being aware of this, but you're entering quite a deep space here of healing. Um, I don't think it's, uh, even though you're showing up with a sense of acknowledgement over the parts that do need healing, um, parts of yourself, I don't think that it's a choice, like a real, okay, yeah, I'm doing it, I'm going in deep. I don't think so, I think it's subconscious. Which might mean you may feel challenged, emotionally challenged, a lot in the upcoming weeks. Some energies of loss might show up out of nowhere from 10 years ago and be like, Oh, I miss my grandma or something. And you start crying like crazy, like you've never cried before. You know, kind of like that. Um, where it almost feels like this deep sense of healing is happening in the background, but it's really not it's it's kind of odd because i see you a little confused a little stuck in these energies at some point when when they come in and you feel them you're like what's going on what's going on what are we doing here you know what's going on what's happening um almost panicking because you don't know where they're coming from but they're coming from again you're entering a pretty deep sense of healing here the moon, you get the Ten of Wands, the Four of Cups, the Four of Wands. Everything bothers you at this point. You're looking bothered by everything, uh, which is not necessarily surprising. You look irritated. You look like, you know, everything, 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 everything. Um, <clears throat> I'm not surprised by this, though. Because even if you're not aware that you're entering a pretty deep space of healing within yourself, it's still happening. And because of that, whenever some, someone enters something like this, an energy like this, they do feel irritated by everything around that's moving. Everything pisses them off. Because they're going through something in there that, think of it as a rewiring of stuff, you know, inside of you. And you don't even know what you like anymore, what you don't like, what you feel, what you don't feel, what you want, what you don't want. So it's kind of like everything is kind of restructuring inside of you there. And if you're not 100% aware of what's going on, it can be a very annoying process. And of course, everything else is going to annoy you outside of yourself. You know, I see, I see a marriage here possibly that you look at and you're like, hey, you know. But not only, this one makes sense too, because it's, you know, we take it out on the closest people to us. So, uh, I feel like it's, the more you're unaware of this process here that you're entering, the more annoyed you'll probably find yourself being by a lot of stuff which at the center of it all, I feel like it's gonna be you, that you're annoyed at yourself a lot because you don't know what's going on there. First you want this, then you don't, and you da, 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 you know? So it's like, <clears throat> if you understand that there's a process going on at play, you know, a restructuring kind of a process inside of you there, you should be fine in handling this. Um, for the five of pentacles in the immediate future, you get the eight of cups, the four of swords, the sun. Yeah. I don't see you acknowledging this happening um, on the on the surface, on the outside. You as a human, I talking to you and saying, "Hey, you're, are you going through something here?" Uh, you may be like, "You know, I'm experiencing something, but I don't know what's going on exactly." So I don't think I don't think anything is really happening. I think it's just maybe it's the moon or the stars in the sky how they're arranged and they're affecting me. But I don't think. You know, probably nothing internally. There's a lot happening internally. Where you'll come out of this a new Virgo. A different Virgo than what you were when you entered it. It's kind of a... It depends on how you look at it. It could be a, a blessing that you don't know that this is happening. Or a curse. Because it's like... You're going to be taken for a roller coaster ride and you don't even know why. Um, so, depends on how you look at it. But uh, let's see what the universe has. This has been quite the ride, quite the interesting reading with an unexpected kind of twist. 
Uh, from the universe, you get the Ace of Swords, the Knight of Swords, the Ten of Wands. Yeah, things might start feeling a little difficult. Whatever you're doing, whatever you're putting effort into outside of yourself, you might start to feel a sense of difficulty with that. Because again, whether you're aware that this is happening or not, or not you are going inward. When you're going inward, you don't want to have you don't want to have anything to do with the outside world, with going outside and doing outside stuff, which could mean pretty much anything from whatever you put your energy into outside of your watching TV, you know, being like I'm not in the mood. I don't know why. Like I usually, you know, stuff like that. I don't know, like simplest things, let alone. Um, going grocery shopping or I don't know so you may feel difficulty in energies that require action on your part to give outside of yourself to energies outside of yourself rather to than to give to yourself only so interesting interesting reading but um <clears throat> that's what I have for you hope this helped and I'll see you next time bye